does PS Audio scope out the competition? Nick in London, England, he writes us and he says, Paul, when motor manufacturers introduce a new model for a particular market sector and price point, they tend to benchmark their products during development against what they perceive to be their main competitors. Usually they do this by buying or acquiring these competitor products and comparing them in terms of performance, price, features, and trying to figure out what is selling about the car, etc. Do hi-fi manufacturers, and specifically PS Audio, do something similar when doing research and development on new products? <laughs> it's a great question. I mean, after all, we are a business, and we like to make products that people want to buy. So you'd think we'd do that. And the truth is, we don't. I, it may be to our detriment, because I know there's a number of companies that do pay attention. And I suppose we should probably pay attention more than we currently do. But, but here's the truth. Uh, I, of course, am aware of competition. I go to all the shows. I read the magazines. I chat with our customers. I know what people are up to. I know what, you know, what we're up against. But having said all of that, what drives our products is not competing with somebody because competing to me, as you accurately describe the car manufacturers who, who go out and say, wow, you know, these guys are adding a, a heated steering wheel and this guy has a rear view television camera and this guy has this and that. So we need to include all of these things so that when customers come and they say, oh, you know, I saw this new car. Now, does yours have this, 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 and this? They go, yep, 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 yep. Now I can evaluate it on whatever other terms I want. We rarely do that. We more often than not design products that we want to own. And I, I, it, it may sound hokey, but when, when I look at, for instance, when we started work on the Stellar line. So we have a line of products that, that averages between $1,000 and $2,000 retail. And it's called the Stellar line. And my son Scott was the one that sort of inspired it. And he said, you know, we need a product that really is a full chassis width product something that people can take home without compromise. It's more than the little Sprout integrated. I mean, this is full-fledged stuff. There, there's a 700-watt amplifier. There's a, you know, a full, full boat DAC and preamp, all that kind of good stuff. So the Stellar line is sort of our, you know, jump into PS Audio with both feet rocking. And we set parameters up. We said, okay, so, you know, between $1,000 and $2,000, we want to make the very best products that we know how to make, period. We didn't look at what the competition was. We didn't say, well, who else is making something in that $1,500 range? Um, I, I could care less. I really could care less. Why? Well, what difference would it possibly make? Let's say that company XYZ is making a $1,700 stereo amplifier. Um, and we're making a $1,700 stereo amplifier. And the customer now has to make a choice. I don't think customers actually look at it that way. Maybe they do, and maybe I'm completely full of, full of hooey. <laughs> Many have said I am. But we, what we do is we say, look, within this price category, here, here's an area we want to play in. Here's an area that we believe people can afford to put in systems and be proud of what they have and to get performance like they've never heard before. Never. How do we do that? And what price point do we want to hit? We sit in meeting after meeting. We spend a lot of time and we come up with, here's a cool looking product. And this one, we're going to put our hearts and souls into meeting that budget and never compromising the way it sounds within the constraints that we have to work with. And that's what we do. And we go full steam ahead into that. And once we're proud of that product and it's something we want to take home and something that I would be always happy to say and recommend to somebody, this is what you need, buy that, and I would be delighted 
that you have it, that you'd be proud to have it. Well, that's, that's, that's it. That's all the competition that we need. We're only competing with ourselves. How good can we do compared to what we did last time, compared to what is possible given current market and, and cost conditions? And that's it. Do we include features that people want that the, com uh, the competitors have? Sometimes, like something like MQA or, or something that you know, I frankly don't really believe in. We put that in because our customers demanded it. They really wanted it. Okay, fine. That's great. But for the most part, we build products we want to own and are proud to put our name on. And that's all that matters. And I could care less what the other people are doing. Okay. Thanks, Nick. Bye. Thank you.